Hey, and welcome back to Vid Society. In this video, I'm going to continue building out my brand new website using ChatGPT for all the content. So if you've been following along with me, you've you've seen where I've used ChatGPT to find a domain name and then also to start creating my content. And in this one, I'm actually going to take you inside of my website, show you how I'm creating the content, how I'm adding it to my website. So you can follow along with me if you want to. And the whole purpose behind this is just to really test this and to see how Google handles AI content, how well it ranks it, and when or if we start seeing uh, Google deranking this type of content. So this is my website here. I've not done a ton of SEO to it, but I did do basic SEO to help everything to rank better. So the name of this website is Organic Remedy Co. And I found this theme for free within WordPress. Uh, it's great for blogs. It's clean. It doesn't have a lot of distracting content, which I didn't want. And then here you can see that I've already posted two reviews. So I'm going to go over one of these with you and show you what I've done. And then I'm going to go in and create a new one and post it to my website and show you just the minor changes that I'm making to it. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. I posted it yesterday and you can see this is the post. And once again, there's nothing distracting on this page other than the article itself. And then I have a link here. This is not my affiliate link yet. Right now it links directly to this page where they can go buy it. I'm going to hold off on adding my affiliate links until things start getting indexed and we just see what happens with it. So for each title of post, I'm making it the product name plus review. All this content here came directly from chat GPT. The only thing that I did on here really was make sure that the title was in H1 and then the subtitles were in H2 or H3 and that there were also bullet points added along with it because search engines, especially Google loves bullet points. Now on one of these articles, I also linked to the other one uh, for some internal linking because this is also a big factor in SEO and rankings. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and go in the back end of WordPress. And I've installed a few plugins on this one. I do not like the new editor for WordPress. So I install the classic editor and still use the classic widgets. That's just what I prefer. And so we're going to go up here to post and we're going to click on add new. And we're going to create a new post to add in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is jump over to the products that I'm promoting here on this website. And this is the one I'm going to be doing a review on today, which is called H glow formula. So we're going to jump over to chat GPT here. And, and if you've seen my last video, you saw there was only a little over a hundred entries. Now there's 165. There are a ton of different prompts now for this extension. Uh, but we're still going to continue using this one here called outrank article. It seems to be the one that I like the best so far. We're going to click on this. And then what I did is I searched on Google for H glow formula review. I found several different websites here. The one I liked the best was this one because it had the most content on it. So I'm going to take this URL and copy it. And we're going to go back to chat GPT and paste it and search. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and let this finish. Okay, so here's the article. For some reason, this one didn't put subtitles in it or bullet points. So I'm going to come down here and tell it to add subtitles using the H2 and H3 tag. Also add bullet points. And we're going to wait and let it rewrite this again. Okay, still it's not giving me what I want and this is a little bit different than what it's been creating for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it rewrite it again. We're just going to start a new chat. And we're going to do outrank article and I'm going to come back here again and we're going to try it again and see what it does. So this time it wrote the article a little better. It did put some subtitles in here. It also added some bullet points. It's not very long compared to my other articles, but that's OK. I'm still going to use it and it's still putting this little graph in here. In fact, if we come over here and let me jump over to a different chat and then I'll jump back to the one we just did. And you're going to notice this is the prompt that it uses. And if we go down here somewhere, it tells it to use a diagram down here. It says also suggest a diagram and mark down mermaid syntax when possible. So this part here, I could actually take this out. I could copy all this and take this part out and then just use this as my own personal prompt. 
to do that, but I'm not too concerned about it if it creates whatever that's for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and this title here is not exactly what I want to use. So we're going to jump back over here. The name of this product is called H glow formula. So I'm going to come over here and in the title, we're going to name this uh, natural or no, it's actually healing natural oils. So it's healing natural oils, H glow formula review. And then down here, we're going to take our content, copy it and paste it. So now we have our content down here. Like I said, it's not as long as what I really want, but I'm still anxious to see how well it does. So we're going to leave it the way it is, but I am going to add an image. So I'm going to come up here, click on add media and I'm going to upload it. And you can see here, these are the three images I have saved and I am changing the names of these to the product name and review. And this helps with SEO. So we're going to click on that, click open. We're going to leave it on full size and insert into post. And then we're going to click on the image and left align it and make it smaller. It's about like that. And then we can preview it. And I want to take this and link it to one of the other posts. So let me come over here and see. We'll do, I can't remember. I think I linked one page to this one. So we'll do this one here. So we'll click view. And we're going to copy this link, come back to our post. And let's say down here we'll put, and then we're just going to highlight this keyword and link it to H moles, just like that. And then somewhere up here, we're going to put, check the latest pricing here. And then I'm going to take the link for this one, copy it link. And this one, we're actually going to open up in a new window. So people will stay on our website. And then I'm going to go ahead and mark it in these two categories. And then I'm going to scroll to the bottom and set featured image, click on it, set featured image and publish. And now let's go back to our home page. And you can see we have three of them. This is the last one we did, the H glow. Here's our link. If we click on it, it opens up a new link and goes to the page. And then we can scroll down. We can see we also have it linked here to the H moles formula review. So that's all we're going to do today. And I'm going to continue adding these reviews and maybe some other articles or content that's just based around organic remedies uh, to this website to continue growing it out so we can just see how well it does long term. So if you want to stay up to date with this experiment or if you want to start creating your own website and just follow along with me, you can do that. All oh, the other thing I wanted to do was to show you what theme I'm using in case you wanted to use it. So let me jump back over to my dashboard appearance and themes. And this one is called Blogus, and it was actually one of the top ones. So if you come here and click on add new and right now mine's here at the top cause I have it activated, but it wasn't very far down through here where I found that. So you guys can search for it or just search for Blogus and you'll find it. they have a pro version too, but this free version seems to be working fine for what I want it to do. So that's what I'm going to stick with for now. So if you guys want to follow along, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll be posting a lot more videos about chat GPT, about content, generating content, new things I find out that you may be interested in as well. So that's it for this video, guys. Have a great day.